Hello humans, I'm back with a quick video for you today. It's a book review, something I haven't done very much of. I'm reviewing this book. It's called, as you can see, Kaklak, The Doctor Who Art of Chris Achilios. It's available now online from Candy Jar Books, who are based in Cardiff, and it's available from online retailers from May. Now, just to give you a little bit of background about this book and who Chris Achilios is, um, if, like me, you're a Doctor Who fan in the 1970s, then, like me, you're very old. Uh, but you will remember that back in the early 1970s, the history of Doctor Who was pretty much a closed book. As Doctor Who fans, our knowledge of the series really pretty much stretched to last week's episode, or maybe the last season. We, we didn't really know a great deal about the history of the show before that. John Pertwee was the Doctor, the show was becoming more popular and more successful than ever. But the only people who could really remember much about the black and white 60s were, you know, possibly slightly older fans. Uh, but the show's history wasn't chronicled, wasn't written down anywhere. And the episodes were, as far as anybody knew, if they even thought about it, were just buried away in the BBC archives, never to be seen again. Certainly for the fans, the history of Doctor Who was something that was just in the history. We knew perhaps there'd been previous Doctors, we knew about the Daleks, we knew about the Cybermen, but we didn't really know about the rich heritage of the series. That didn't happen until, well, the early 1970s, with the arrival of this little baby. This is the original Making of Doctor Who book that was published by Piccolo. This is my original uh, 25p uh, edition, which, as you can see, is extremely well thumbed. This is the first book which explained anything about the history of Doctor Who, where it had come from, broadly speaking, how it was created, in, in very broad terms. It was written by the show's then script editor, Terence Dix, and Malcolm Hulk, who wrote some of the very memorable series in the 1970s. And... Um, it really told us a little bit about the history of Doctor Who, very cleverly did it by way of um, written extracts from the Time Lord's files that were taken and uh, as depositions when the Doctor was put on trial in the war games, and just briefly outlined all the times he'd interfered um, in the history of the universe, which of course was at that time strictly against the, the laws of the Time Lords. And that sort of gave us the history of Doctor Who. And then the more recent Earth-based adventures were recalled by way of memos that Brigadier Lethbridge do, would write to Geneva HQ in... Um the unit HQ in Geneva, rather, and then also updates were on those occasions when the Doctor left Earth at the behest of the Time Lords. They were also done as sort of um, Gallifreyan, not that we knew the name of Gallifrey at the time, of course, this was before Gallifrey was named, but these were done by way of uh, reports that were filed by the Time Lords about the missions they sent the Doctor on. So this was a very important book, taught us about the history of Doctor Who, for people who might have forgotten it, or watched it and forgotten it, or people who'd never seen it. And I remember reading this book thinking I'd love to see some of these things, they sound so exciting, of course, now they've been out on video, on DVD, now they're coming out on Blu-ray, apart from obviously the episodes that are missing. That was a book that reappeared several years later when it was republished by Target Books. Um, slightly rewritten, updated a little bit because now Tom Baker obviously was a doctor. Uh, again, written by Terence Dix and Malcolm Harp, although I think Terence Dix uh, did the lion's share of the updating. And you see the cover there is an image of Tom Baker. That was, about, that was 1976, but the original making of, as I said, 1972. 1973, Target Books arrived. Now, Richard Henwood, at the time, was one of the directors of Target Books. He was looking for a new uh, children's range for the, the new Target book that was just book range that was just being launched and he discovered that three old Doctor Who books that had been published in the 1960s were long out of print uh, those books were and I'm now going to show you these are the editions that were republished by the BBC a couple of years ago and of course we've got Doctor Who in an exciting adventure with the Daleks written by David Whittaker which for me is still the finest piece of Doctor Who fiction ever written then we have uh, The Crusaders which is again written by David Whittaker which is a novelization of his serial the crusade and then we have the web planet or doctor and the zabi which is one of doctor's most bizarre adventures and not often regarded as one of its most successful those books came out in the 1960s and they've been out of print for ages as i said these are the, the editions that the bbc brought out a few years ago richard henwood very wisely and very sensibly and very shrewdly got the copyrights to those books got the rights to them reissued them and they were huge hits this led the following year to him thinking, well, there's obviously money in Doctor Who. There's uh, a, a huge gap in the market for new Doctor Who fiction. So he commissioned, uh, went to the BBC and uh, Terence Dix, the script editor, volunteered to write some of these books. And before long, we had books like this, or these two on the shelves. And I, I can remember quite clearly going into uh, WH Smith's in Cardiff, which is sadly no longer there. And finding these two babies, Auton Invasion and the Cave Monsters. 
which were obviously novelizations of John Pertwee stories and the thrill of seeing these books is just one of those things that you never forget. And of course what's so important about these books are these illustrations, these cover illustrations, beautiful illust illustrations by Chris Achilios, which brings us to the point of the book that I'm in a roundabout way reviewing today. Chris Achilios was a Cypriot uh, artist who came to the UK and over the years when he became involved in Doctor Who he contributed over 30 covers, uh, some classic covers to some classic Doctor Who books. Um, and these two that I've shown you are just some of the, uh, the first two. He did some classic stories like Pyramids of Mars, Genesis, The Daleks, Day of the Daleks. He was responsible for many of those striking early covers that made the book so popular and made them bestsellers. Uh, so Kaklak, which as I say is out now in softback, I think there's also a hardback edition. It basically collects all those covers. There's the cover of the cave monsters, which I just showed you. Co it beautifully prints them in beautiful glossy paper, obviously without the Doctor Who logos and the and the names and the credits and so on. Uh, each book cover has got a little bit of text explaining the history of the story, what the story is about, and then a little bit of commentary from Chris Achilios himself telling little bits and pieces, little stories about how those um, covers came about. There we have his very striking cover to the Dalek Invasion of Earth, telling Stixie's novelization of that first big Dalek serial, um, his cover of Ian Martyr's Ark in Space. So this is full of those covers beautifully reprinted. And there are also some original commissions that have been done for fans over the years. Um, random commissions he's done for um, new series illustrations. They have got the tenth Doctor, the yeah tenth Doctor, eleventh Doctor. God, I'm a Doctor Two fan as well. Um, so it's full of stuff that we've not seen before. Alternative covers, unused covers, covers that he's done for special projects. This is one that was done for the Doctor Who Appreciation Society for the. Um, 20th anniversary so it's just a beautiful book of beautiful illustrations it's not one that you'll spend a lot of time reading but it's a lovely book to put on the shelf and just um it's, it's nostalgia just brings back all those beautiful book covers from the days when doctor who books were a really big thing the title of course clack in case you're wondering comes from his cover to uh, 1976 adaptation of uh, malcolm hulk's um Malcolm Hulk's adaptation of his 1974 serial Invasion of the Dinosaurs where um, and he, he recounts the story in the book how the illustration that he sent in had a picture of John Pertwee's Doctor being menaced by a pterodactyl with the comic strip logo clack uh, over the top of it and uh, Target Books were a bit appalled because they didn't think that was what you'd get on book covers but as he said he knew the audience he knew what the kids who read the books were into and he knew that would appeal to them and he was proved right because the book of course was a big hit um I can't recommend this book highly enough really it's it's just a nice book to have on the shelf and if like me you're a nostalgist and you remember all these books coming out you remember going into the bookstores and seeing these beautiful covers and probably not really thinking much about the artist and all the hard work that had gone into them it's just a massive nostalgia fix and a massive nostalgia jolt very very highly recommended it's an unusual it's very much a niche doctor who book it's not one of those big um hardback sort of generic books that you tend to get from the BBC these days which are all well and good for what they are but this is a bit more in-depth and a bit more uh, as I say niche but highly recommended look out for it um, you can as I say you can get it on the candy jar website now or you can pick it up from Amazon and other online retailers because others are available and it comes out in May so once again it's Kaklak the Doctor Who art of Chris Achilles is very highly recommended and inevitably it's going to get from me 10 out of 10 rated because it's just a great book. So that's uh, Chris Kilios. I um, hope you've enjoyed this little vid. Like and subscribe and do all that sort of stuff. And I will see you soon for more stuff. Thank you.